So this is the Hammer World Editor, and this is the tool used to make all the maps. And you will you will have a message box similar to that appear. You can just close that. Don't worry about that. And what you're going to want to do: file, and just click on new. And this is what you will get come up something like this. But we are just first things first you go to tools and options and you can configure hammer so what you're going to want to do you're going to want to in here you're going what well, you're going to want to edit click on add and gary's mod and then uh, go close and then make sure gary's mod is selected then what you're going to want to do is in the game data files you should have it should be your steam user directory then Gary's you're going to want to go Gary's mod Gary's mod and then Gary's mod dot F G din and basically texture format it's going to be materials half-life 2 and map type half-life 2 and the default point entity class you can have whichever one you want I like to use the info player start that is basically the spawn point for the player and then if you just change that so it's funk detail uh, don't need to do anything with this or that those are all okay cord and texture just leave that's black but these three you're going to want to change basically the executable directory you're going to want to go into it you're going to want gary's mod gary's mod and just select as that second gary's mod folder and then the same again if you just highlight that and then if you just copy and paste it into there and then the vmf directory now this is where all of your maps will be saved so the best place to save them is same as this but then on the end just type in slash and maps and that basically then saves it into the maps directory for gary's mod so when you launch the game the map will automatically be in the um in the start new game you'll be able to select it straight from the box to play it and so that's fine then you just want to leave these as they are and um, build programs obviously Gary's more configuration the game execute the game executable that's obviously what launches the game so it's going to be your user directory Gary's mod then hl2 half-life 2 ex in and then the bs pin you're going to want to go to uh, source SDK bin orange box bin and then the vbsp.ex in and then for the viz executable you're going to want to do the same and find the vvis.ex in and for the rad you can probably guess it's going to be the vrad.ex in and then place compiled maps in this directory before running the game if you just set that as your maps folder which is this one here you can just copy and paste that just pop it in there and then that's it just click apply and then ok and then obviously you'll have like this you will have the if you haven't done it already file new and then you will get like this come up with four different screens this you're going to want to make sure that it is texture shaded for this and then all these are your grid 2d views and then this one here will be your 3d view and so that is now basically all set up ready for you to map so if you join me next time then we'll go through things like how to create a skybox and basically how to start mapping and the basics to mapping so at this stage you can now basically begin mapping and join me next time and we will indeed start mapping Thanks for watching. Goodbye.